Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course. In this session, I will give you an overview about what is Microsoft Dynamics 365. As per Wikipedia, Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a product line of business applications that combines the components of customer relationship management, that is CRM, and enterprise resource planning, that is ERP, along with its productivity applications and artificial intelligence tools. So with this product line of business application, what Microsoft has done is they have combined their CRM applications and ERP applications into one common platform and architecture called Dynamics 365. So let us now understand what was there before Microsoft Dynamics 365 was launched. So before Dynamics 365, Microsoft was already having their CRM application and their ERP application. So both these different applications were sold by Microsoft under a common branding name called Microsoft Dynamics. So what happened till now was whenever you subscribe a Microsoft Dynamics CRM instance, you will by default get sales, marketing and service module out of the box. And if your organization plans to use the field service and project service automation functionalities, then you had to install your field service and project service solutions on top of your existing CRM solutions. So there was no direct way that you can directly utilize only the field service or the project service automation without getting into the Microsoft Dynamics CRM instance. And similarly, on the ERP side, you had five different applications that were standalone amongst themselves. Like those five applications were Microsoft Dynamics AX, Project Madeira, Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Microsoft Dynamics SL, Microsoft Dynamics GP. So these five applications were also separate so now you can think from a customer perspective that it would be a very difficult for a customer if they plan to utilize the CRM and ERP module and their business needs were such that both these applications needs to communicate amongst themselves then it was on customers behalf that they have to lay down the integration architecture and perform the data integrations in real time. So customer had to face a inherent problem with these different groups of applications. Number one the application management become very tedious job and since they have to purchase the different licenses for the number of applications they want to use they have to pay the extra cost as well as they have to lay down the integration architecture between their crm applications and erp applications so before dynamics 365 both crm and erp modules were separate customer had to purchase their own product licenses both crm and erp database were separate so there was no inbuilt integrations among these applications the moment you subscribe both of these applications. So with Dynamics 365, what has changed is Microsoft has combined both CRM and ERP modules into single product line of business application called Dynamics 365. So with Dynamics 365, now the sales module of CRM is called as Dynamics 365 for sales application. Similarly, the marketing module of CRM application is now called as Dynamics 365 for marketing. The earlier service module of CRM is now called as Dynamics 365 for customer service application. Similarly, the field service is now called as Dynamics 365 for field service and project service automation is now called as Dynamics 365 for project service automation applications. And similarly on ERP side, what was earlier called as Microsoft Dynamics AX and Project Madeira is now called as Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations application. And on top of that, Microsoft has released two more applications in Dynamics 365 that are called Dynamics 365 for Talent and Dynamics 365 for Retail. And the very latest introduction to this family of product is Dynamics 365 for Business Central. For the convenience purpose, all the CRM related applications are grouped under one common name called Dynamics 365 for customer engagement applications. So these five applications are called as Dynamics 365 customer engagement applications, while the earlier AX and Project Madeira is called Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So with the introduction of Dynamics 365, customer has ability to choose the applications they need. Now in Dynamics 365, all CRM and ERP applications are using common data system and you will get the inbuilt integration among these applications as well. As far as this course is concerned, only the business central application is in the scope of this course. So if you are here to learn the functionalities of Dynamics 365 for customer engagement applications or finance and operations, talent and retail applications, then 
definitely this course is not for you just wait for some time we are going to launch a brand new courses for all these different applications as well since this course is designed and focus only on business central applications you will be only learning about the various introductory aspect of dynamics 365 business central so that is all about this session in next session we will see the target audience and prerequisites for this course i hope to see you all in that next session till then bye bye and take care amongst themselves then it was on customers behalf that they have to lay down the integration architecture and perform the data integrations in real time whenever so they have to perform these kind of integrations on their own there was no such so they have to maintain and from so the pro so with this there was an inherent problem from customers front where so customer had to face a inherent problem with this different application different groups of applications uh, in